doubles that's coming your way next between Malaysia and China. Ong Yusin, Tio Yi, the number six seeds of Malaysia, going up against He Jiting and Zhou Hao Dong of China. Well, looking at the men's doubles brackets in the quarterfinals, we had a mixture of nations, but you can see there China dominating the quarterfinals. Three pairs in the mix, and two of them have progressed, both on each side of that semi final. Right now, though, we're going to see the number one Chinese pair in action that's He Jiting and Zhou Hao Dong as they look forward to making their first title here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the players Ong Yu Sin and Tio Yi Yi from Malaysia. They'll be taking on He Ji Ting and Zhao Hao Dong from China. There you go, the players walking onto the courts and uh, the Chinese team always get fantastic support here at the key center here in Australia. And we had another big roar for Ho Ji Ting and Zhou Hao Dong as they walked onto court. As I mentioned, looking for their first title here in Australia, the first title, in fact, as a pair. It's a fairly new partnership between these two. They came together about the end of last year. And uh, it's been a year and they're still hunting for their first title. And this will be their first ever meeting with Ong and Tio. Of Malaysia, we see the toss. That's right, no toss. This side. This side. Okay, what do you do? To your serve. Who received? So I'll receive. So I'll receive. All right, so we saw the point toss and uh, China choosing ends, whereas uh, Malaysia, of course, choosing to serve. It will be Chiu serving to Zhou, as far as I could understand from that conversation with the umpire to talk me through this match and actually the rest of the semi-finals is Grania Somerville, Australian doubles player. Grania, you've already seen some of the action here on the court. How's it going so far? What do you notice? What have been the big moments for you? Yeah, I mean, it's a super exciting arena. The Australian crowd is happy to have badminton back here after a long hiatus. So they're really enjoying this high quality badminton. I'm sure this men's doubles will be super exciting as well. Well, there we see Ong Yu Sin, 27 years of age from Malacca, Malaysia, ranked number eight in the world with his partner, Tio Yi. This partnership has been one that has been going on for a few years now, a strong Malaysian partnership. And uh, they're enjoying the highest world ranking at the moment. Tio Yi, slightly older, both right-handed players. From Tio, of course, from Johor, Malaysia. And they, too, have uh, not had a title this season, looking for their first one. And the Australian Open now being the best chance because the season is coming to a close. Looking at the road to the semifinals, and it's been straight game wins all the way. The most noticeable, of course, being that quarterfinal victory against Kang and Seo. That one being straight games because Kang and Seo are a very exciting Korean up-and-coming pair to watch. Yeah, I watched that match, and the Malaysians had some epic defense there. So I look forward to seeing that in this match as well. He Ji Ting, 24 years of age, from Fujian, China, ranked uh, as high as 10 with his former partner, Tan Chiang. The current ranking, of course, is 28 in the world. And uh, as I mentioned, this is a fairly new partnership, but both these players have a lot of men's doubles experience in them. So Hao Dong, as you can see, his previous partnership with Han Chong Kai going up to number five in the world. And they're young players still, 24 years of age. So there's a lot of promise of them individually and made sense to put them together as well. Yeah, China has been mixing their doubles partnerships around the last year or two. So it's interesting now to see the partnerships be formed and then get a string of tournaments and see if they can get up to those you know, top 10 rankings again. Well, their road to the semi-final has been slightly trickier in the sense that they had to go to three games in that quarter-final against teammates Liang and Wang, who had come off a big win at the Japan Open. So that was a tough match against the seven seeds. And it's always tough playing teammates, of course, because they know their game a lot better. But this one has uh, got excitement written all over it, hasn't it, Grenier? Yeah, looking forward to it. 
Well, we're going to get this match going very, very shortly. But uh, going by the form that Ong and Chiu have shown throughout this tournament, the fact that they're much higher ranked, the fact that uh, they are the seeded pair, you know, on paper, they have got to be in slight favorites, you'd say? Yeah, yeah. On paper, they are. But as you mentioned, both China players have been previously top 10 players as well with the different partnerships so they definitely know that they're up against a challenge today so malicious toe will serve to get the semi-final underway a straight away quick exchange as we see typical of men's doubles, they don't want to play the long rallies, they want to attack and go for it. Service over. And there's probably One. Oh. defense quite a bit there on in that point. Service fault. Two, one. By Herji Ting. Fall too high. Haven't seen too many of those. Service over. Two, four. from TOE had to kind of you know Three, make it work two. in the moment but her and Zoe staying strong in that one yeah at this point I think both players are still just getting into the match defending by Malaysia, let's say. Over. Yeah, they are pretty happy when they are under pressure to just do a nice high lift and then defend their way out. They've got a super solid defense, so when stuff gets a bit too crazy, they're quite comfortable to just reset from defense. Absorb all the pressure. Yeah. Jiting and Zhou Haodong are coming off the back of two Super 100 finals into this tournament, Vietnam, as well as Indonesia Masters. So they're in some fine nick at the moment. Play by Malaysia. Service over. Four, five. Got some angle on that, Ong Yusin. Oh. Oh. not quite happy that he wasn't able to return the shuttle back in play. Doubles semi final taking place with another Chinese pair and uh, Liu Yuchen and Oshuani. It's 
So China yeah. have good representation in this field, in a field that they have technically never won here at the Australian Open. Oh, really? Yeah, not a single Chinese men's doubles title winner yet. That's surprising to me. I know, right? I really think this might just be their year with two very strong pairs in the mix. Scrambling there, on your sin. Yeah, Seven, just hesitating four. and then deciding to pull out from going for that shot. A bit too confusing for Ong. Three point lead now for her and so early in this first game. So Good return. Five, he is seven. a very talented net player, isn't he, TOE? Yeah, I think he's a bit of a weapon on the return and he's very good at covering the next shot so can be a bit intimidating serving to him i think Play. There with a quick push Six, and then on reading that perfectly, finding the gap there. And it's now just a one point game. Yeah, I that too. So it's over eight, six. They're very, very close at the moment. As is expected. Nine, six. Nice interception there by her. Change the angle. Tio was not prepared for. Smashing it six. on the backhand of TOEE. So how Dong, very powerful. Point lead for the Chinese. Over. 11, so at the, the mid game break, it is Ho Ji Ching and Zhou Hao Dong who are up by four points. Just seven minutes played. It's been fast and furious this men's doubles semi final. Seven. 
for the players back on court to resume game one where her and so lead 11 7 four points ahead Lovely smash for cross court from TOE. He did well to find the gap there. You could see that Joel was just creeping across to the center, focusing there a lot. Wow. Service over. Well, hey. Malaysia not looking as sharp. And he's still getting into this, the speed of this game. Time is over. Nine, well. This is uh, the last chance for Ladies the and Malaysian team match on four two is as now such now. to have representation at the finals here in Sydney. We saw Ang Tzu Yong lose his semi-final earlier. And Ong and Chiu now carry the burdens of the nation. Lead restored. Making it look very easy at the moment. Oh, and so. Just left, sort of awkwardly placed there. Tui, yeah, I think it must have been a really good serve. Touched the net. He realised he couldn't attack the serve the way he wanted to, and had to resort to a lift, which got him in a bit of trouble. just haven't been able to find their footing at the moment in this match. I, we've seen a fair bit of this first game come and go, and the Malaysians just don't seem to have clicked, if I can say that. Yeah, their attack doesn't seem to be getting through there. Have a few too many errors and are getting a bit confused amongst themselves. So they'll need to sort that out to have a chance in the rest of this game. It's all one-way traffic. It's now an eight-point lead for her and Zoe in this first game. And, uh, it doesn't seem likely, does it, that Ong and Chiu would be able to challenge in this game? I think at this point they just need to try and find their own game and get a bit of a rhythm going into the second set. Try and start that nice and strong. 89. Nine point lead. It's five points in a row for Ho and Zhou. Both over. of them going for that Seven, one there. So we have a little bit of miscommunication between the two. A little bit of frustration on Her Jiting's face. That's one long. 
Run of five points broken by the Malaysians. They managed to find themselves in the double digits. Be a relief. Whenever I'm playing my mom, she just wants me to get to double digits. If I'm losing, she's like, just get to double digits. <laughs> That's the goal. It's a target, right? <laughs> yeah. And so now two points away from taking this first game. Lovely. Service over. Well, 93. Tio working that really well, finding that space on the court, on the far side of the court. They'll take every point they can get at the moment, Ong and Chiu. And so, don't know what happened there. Total, total miss in the shuttle. Well, it sets up seven game points. Rackets. Again, again, we saw a little bit of misunderstanding between Hoji Ting and Zhou Haodong going for the shot together. Well, they do it. 21 14. Herji Ting and Zhou Haodong take that first uh, game in impressive fashion. Just 16 minutes played. It was that five point run in the second half that did the damage uh, as far as her and Zhou are concerned. And for Ong and Tio, it really is going back to the drawing board and trying to find another way of approaching this match. Malaysians here really just need to bring a bit more energy and try and be a bit sharper in this set. You just see the second game get underway. After Ho and Zhou clinched the first one, 21-14. And this is a must win for Malaysia, of course. To keep their tournament hopes alive. You just haven't seen the same amount of aggression or the energy that they normally bring 
on the court. You know, they're, they're constantly ready for it. Yeah, they look a little bit slow, honestly. I think they're giving their defense away a bit too easily. And then when they're getting the attack, they're not able to finish it off. So they need to stay sharp around the net and really fight for that attack a little bit more, I think. Lovely rally. Oh, and so Two, one. doing really well there. It's no easy task when these guys keep getting these shots back like that. Fantastic work from Herji Ting, especially for keeping the point in play. Yes, you can see them having a discussion because we've seen that in the, even the first game where a couple of times they both were going for the same shot in the sense that there was no one, there was a lack of understanding between the two. Yeah, so they're both still covering some of those middle shots and starting to clash, so that's definitely something that Ong and Tio couldn't exploit more. Dog. He would not let up. It'd be good to see the Malaysians be able to block and come in and take the net that way. It seems in the defense all they're really doing is lifting or driving up into the racket of the front court player from the China team. So they need to find some other ways to get the attack back. 382 kilometers per hour. That smash. Four, it's two. a sense of sub oh. yeah they're just subdued that's what i feel like you just don't feel that this is the usual malaysian uh performance that we see from ong and Chiu, who are very very you know sort of passionate players you see the passion on oh, their faces I yeah you can definitely see i think that they're getting a little bit disheartened at these errors that four. are a little bit uncommon for them so I think as a player, when that happens, you, you get a little bit frustrated and unsure of why you can't make these shots that you usually make and, yeah, don't know what to do so much. But they're playing all the kind of right shots. They're just not coming off the racket properly right now, so they just need to keep... know that they're playing the right game and stay in it. It's paid off. They continued attacking at the net. Ong and Tio. And despite the Chinese defense withstanding a lot of it, eventually they caved. So it's a one point lead for the Malaysians. Turns over. Five. Joe Haudon. It was such a tight serve as well. Going for the slower shot. it up, Joe Haudong. Now he can smash. He opted for the drop there, but didn't quite find it past the net. Yeah. So it's six points apiece. Oh. 
Nice placement of the smash there. Seven, six, Awkward spot for Tio to try and get back. Zhou Haodong who delivered that final blow. And uh, as I mentioned, these two have come into the Australian Open on the back of finals appearances at the Vietnam Open and the Indonesian Masters, both Super 100 Play. tournaments. But they got to the final, they finished runners-up, but that certainly has brought back confidence in the partnership, in their game. You can see from the confusion that they are, they seemingly are still figuring out their partnership a little bit. And it's its definitely hard in men's doubles when it's so fast that it's all just reactive to know which ones to hit and which ones to leave. Definitely going to take some time. <laughs> Lovely play from Malaysia that time. They did well to control Seven, that point. Four. got to find more of that kind of confidence in their play. 26 set short rally. Oh. So a point cheaply given away after all that hard work. That's what you don't don't want to see. Drive serve. Nine, seven. And it worked really well. Completely got the Malaysians oh, off guard. Yeah. He is very, very effective at the net, TOE. Very quick to return as well that just sets it up really well yeah you can see as soon as he pushes there his racket straight up again ready to cut that next one off very little separating the two pairs at the moment nine points apiece now and this is a good retaliation from team malaysia yeah, you saw them shouting there, high-fiving. So I think they're starting to get a little bit pumped up now, which is what they have to do. This is their last chance to stay in the match. They haven't won a title since the 2020 Thailand Masters. That's Jimmy Wei, the coach. Now we're going to the World Tour Finals in Bangkok. So being able to win the Australian Open here will help boost their confidence going into that. Yes, absolutely. That's their next stop in two weeks' time for the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. Ogun Tio qualifying for the first time as well as the world number eights. Had a pretty decent season. Finished the semi-finals of the India Open and Denmark Open this year, and this one being their third one. Just not gone past the semi-final hurdle, unfortunately. Ong and Tio. Lovely play again Five from Tio Yi. Really nicely taken backhand. Ten all. Drive serve back there. <laughs> oh, he left it. I don't think he left that. I think he meant to hit it and he just missed. <laughs> Gosh. Well, unfortunately, cost him 
a point and that puts her and Zoe ahead at the mid-game break 11-10. What a contest this second game has been. It's been really, really close. And it's going to go down to the wire. 12 minutes played and it's her and Zoe who are up 11-10 in game two. Eleven ten. Play. Well, game two about to resume. Ho and Joe up 11 10, having already taken the first game, so they have the slightest advantage here. Holden. Another drive serve from Joe. Second one from him. They're going to challenge it. I thought it looked out. What did you think? It's a bit close to call. I rather wait for Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> but they seem very confident with their challenge. Correction out. And it's called out. So they were right to do it. Service over. Ong and Chiu. 11 all. It was indeed out. It's 11 all. Service over. And what 12, a way to give away 11. the point. I think the last serve on did was high as well, so I think his serve is a little bit shaky right now. <laughs> Spinning backhand. If he had made Smash. that shot, <laughs> what a shot that would have been, but well, unfortunately four. didn't quite what? make it over the net. It had all the dramatics and all the theater. It looked good. That's yeah. what matters. <laughs> service board called. Too high. That's a service board. Hold on. QE, sir. Well. Too high. So the Malaysians slightly struggling. It's two back to back service games that they've faltered on. Over 13 You're right, Ronya. They're a lot more pumped up in this uh, second game. Yeah, and you can see it as well in the in the in the shot making. Yeah, and I think they they need that to try and get their level and their intensity back in the rally. Let's see how his serve goes here. Oh, he opted for a flick. That's what I would do. <laughs> if I'd done two shaky serves, I would just flick it. <laughs> 14, 13. That is the trademark TOE look when he's on a mission. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All worked out. That's a couple of shots he played off the ground. Thank you. What a fantastic game this is turning out to be. There's a little bit of everything. Service over. 14. 14 all. Lead exchange numerous times. Just point after point, it just exchanges hands. Mm -hmm. A 
us worldwide. 15, 14. audience is certainly enjoying the badminton here at the key center that's fantastic work good Patient play from Malaysia. Yeah, great defense lifting across the back line, really making China work there in the rear court. Malaysian fans in the background. Uh, feeling hopeful, I'm sure. Looking at how they've fought back in the second game. I'm told it's sold out this weekend. The Australian Open, after it's made its return on the tour two years after being cancelled due to COVID. So it's good to see the fans back in the stadium enjoying the badminton. He likes that spot on the floor, doesn't he? <laughs> about that I think they agree Thank you. eventually trying to make the mistake 16, 15. one point lead for Ong and Tio in the second game. You're just five away from leveling the match here, if they can hold on to this lead. Time is over, 16 Another big smash off the Chinese record, 367 kilometers per hour. Sixteen all. Time is over. Seventeen sixteen. See a little bit of worry creep into the Chinese faces, don't you? Yeah, it's definitely getting down to the pointy end. So big points here. Both pairs need a. Stay focused. Oh. That looked a little, that looked into me. <laughs> it's been called out. Her duty has challenged it. Oh, it is out. It's well out, in fact. So, Ong Yusin was Sanders right to let it go. Two-point lead now. Play. by Ong Yusin at the back court. Yeah, they're doing a lot better now that they're getting the attack more. They would get through China's defense. 16. You saw him mix up the shots as well. 
He went for the slower drop shot first, and then when that was played back, then he went a lot more aggressive. <laughs> and that was the fastest rally smash we've seen from Ong Yusin, 388 kilometers per hour as well. This is a fantastic turnaround by Malaysia. Set up four game points now, 2016. They've won four points on the trot as well. And you can just see that it's right now certainly put China on the back foot. Service over 1720. One saved. Just out. Very oh, close. <laughs> all the team challenges called out. It's called out, but they have challenged it. the second game 21 17 with Malaysia now right back in second it game having leveled the scores 21 14 21 now 21 17 and uh, we've had 40 minutes of exhilarating badminton in this men's double semi-final Well, here we go. It's the deciding game. After Malaysia mounted a fantastic comeback in the second to take it 21 17. You can definitely see how they've upped the intensity from that first game. They were definitely a little slow and defensive in the first set, so taking the initiative more in that second paid dividends. So be interesting to see if they can keep it up for this third. Yeah. 
Nash. Right down the middle. Amundsen. Beautifully placed. Thank you. Service over. One four. Trying to look a little bit frustrated with each other, even a little bit rattled. And uh, I can tell you that uh, the winner here is going to face the Chinese pairing of Liu Yuchun and Oh Shuan Yi, who came through their epic semi final over Li Jiu Hui and Yang Po Swan in three. So a tough match awaits in the final, as is expected, of course. Lovely. That's just beautiful vision from Ong Yusin. He completely exploited that space behind his opponents. Empire uh, having a quick word with the Chinese team, trying them to get ready quicker. It must be imperative now for Malaysia to keep that momentum going that saw them really pumped up in that second half of that second game. Yeah, I think you can start to see the, the doubt in China and the frustration there. So Malaysia just needs to try and keep the pressure on them. Can't have too many errors like that one we just saw. defense by Jordan. Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> I was not letting that go. How do you think? Came forward a few steps and Five, made the three. leap as well. Just to get that angle on that smash. Put it away. about the power but about the steepness of that smash <laughs> those drop shots to her you think are quite effective Malaysians could use them a little bit more to get those short lifts. Seems to struggle a bit to get there. Oh, 
great rally. Again, just patient build up by the militia. Very well constructed point. You can see that Tio is just kind of doing nothing smashes. He wasn't going all out smash. And then it just came off the frame of China at the end there, giving on the opportunity to then finish it with the full out smash. 39 shot rally that one. The crowd certainly getting in full voice now. Five all. It's a game all and now five all. That's over. Six, five. Quick exchanges and trying to get on top of that one. Awkward position there. Choice to drive that first shot there by Ong. Seven going straight into five. her GT jacket. <laughs> you hear the arena really ringing with both sides being well supported. Reflexes, really quick exchanges, and her team just coming forward slowly but surely. Eventually putting it away. in as quickly as possible because we've seen a few long rallies and that's taken quite a lot out of them. What a fantastic backhand. Catching Joe of balance. It's a one point game. Two trailing by just one. Beautiful shot. They're really turning it up now, Ong and Tio. Last couple of shots have been impeccable from the Malaysian pair. First time they've in fact dropped a game in this tournament has been their form. Okay. 
this would be a big block that they would overcome if they can get to a final because they've you know gotten to the stage a few times but they always come up short when it comes to the semi-final it's just been one of those things that they haven't been able to cross this season yeah and there's a, a great pair standing in their way so it's a big challenge again but of course it'd be great for them to win this going into the world tour finals well, they want to get there in a hurry. Ang and Chiel. China still doing so well to just keep getting those back. There's just always one more shot than you expect coming from the Chinese. shots that last rally rally it's still going Still at it, Grania. <laughs> Looks like they've given up on their footwork a little bit. <laughs> Looks I like think they're they taking up. a break. Looks like they hit up before the match. <laughs> These guys are being dramatic. <laughs> this happens every rally in women's doubles. <laughs> <laughs> Tough enough, boys. <laughs> They're just not used to it. <laughs> they are probably jumping over a meter every time they smash. <laughs> Unlike the women's doubles. Oh, that was just one point. Just 11 more of those to go, and you might get the third set. That was unbelievable. Just a couple of the saves that TOE made early on, and then at the net as well. And China just keep playing it back. Really fantastic stuff. Ten nine. You would have thought Seven, that was match point. Nine. Now it's important after a long rally like that to be able to switch back on and back into that short, sharp, focused mode. Because if you're not, you can lose the string of points quite easily. And the good news is they've got a break coming. They just have to try and stay ahead if they can here, Malaysia. For China, of course, it's about leveling score. too defensive in the rally. They do love to just keep lifting, but that's not going to win them all the points here. They need to keep taking the initiative to 
counter in the defense and get the attack. Well left. That's one long and Malaysia hold on just about as we get into the interval 11 10 in what has been a amazing third game already 20 minutes played in this game and it's just 11 10 that the malaysians hold on to a narrow lead <laughs> So the players back in court to resume this third game. We're almost at the hour mark. It's 11 10. Just one point separating the two. both pairs an opportunity to reset after what was a very high intensity first half wasn't it yeah and the slow shuttles are leading to longer rallies so Malaysia need to stay disciplined in wanting to still fight for the attack because it can be tiring when you're endlessly attacking and not getting through but they're also struggling in defense right now Big smash there. 96 kilometer per hour winner. Between China. Lovely placement. Right in the corner. I saw that gap. Well, well. point now means so much better initiative by Malaysia playing the net there a bit more Zhu oh. Dong not the most comfortable player at the net oh. over. 13 oh. Going to get into a very crucial Play. stage now. Long really wants to change this shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly slow and fluffing up, but China are quite happy to play with it, it seems. Hey. Challenge. 
wasn't he? Yeah, and that's what he has to do. Just jumping in, intercepting there. They've got to keep that aggression around the net. Fortino. One long. Fires over. 15, 14. Apologizes straight away because it did hit the net. Two E. Two neck cords in that rally. Well, you can see that the Malaysians certainly have the tails up. And the, and the opponents are kind of now scrambling a little bit, aren't they? Yeah, they definitely look there like they're confident. They want to get this done. They want to make this final. Christmas present for China. <laughs> they just wanted it so bad. Hey! Uh, put that away. I saw the opportunity, but both Ong and Chi are going for that shot. Play. Made it. In the drive, drive serve coming or not. China take the lead. That's beautiful. Again, on you soon, making the most of all that space on the court. Tio's return, setting it up for him there.
Shio. 18-17. Once more. Just fantastic. With the winner there, but just the way they built that point up. 33 shots that rally, and uh, Ong and Chio tried very hard to stay in control of that point as much as possible. In the final now are Ong Yusin and Chiyo Yi. Where you think, of course, will be really kicking at yourself. Yeah. That one. <laughs> really wondering what happened there. now for the Malaysians fans are absolutely thrilled the Malaysian fans here at Key Center it has been quite the comeback for Ong and Chiu who were looking down and out in that first game but what a turnaround this has been and they saved one But to keep themselves composed now, don't they? Definitely. A lot of emotions at the moment. Got to try and keep a cool head. One and two. Two match points still. in doing so. Ong Yusin and Tio Yi complete the comeback. And they got past the semi-final. Absolutely. The they, curse has been lifted. <laughs> they break their jinx. They're into their first final of 2022. The Malaysians here at the Australian Open. And what a performance it has been by the number six seeds. Coming through right at the end in a very tight third game. They take the victory. Confirmation of the score, 14-21, 21-17, 21-18. It is Ong Yusin and Tio Yi who are through to the final after an hour and 12 minutes played. applauded by the players who walk out because they certainly added to the atmosphere and the intensity of this match we just saw fantastic performance for team malaysia in the end there
Welcome back to the Key Center here at the Sydney Olympic Park. We're into semi-finals day here at the Satya Group Australian Open 2022. And what a day it's been. Five semi-finals down here on court one. We've got one more to go in the men's singles and we've saved the best for last. Kodai Naraoka of Japan taking on Shi Yu Chi of China in what is the popcorn match of this 